What's up everybody? On today's show, we're taking a look at a really cool pocket RGB light from Pixel called the Avisi G2. This light currently sells for around $70, but you can actually get it for less if you check out the Fave Package website and use the discount code listed below. The light comes with a USB cable for charging and a tripod that's pretty similar to those small Manfrotto tripods. The most unique feature of the light is the adjustable aluminum arm, which allows you to use it at various angles. Plus, the arm actually has two cold shoe mounts for mounting extra lights or a microphone. The light has a standard CCT mode with a really large Kelvin range from 2600 to 10,000. That's quite a bit more range than most other lights in this category, and it has a CRI rating of 97 plus. In terms of RGB, it supports a full 360 degree color spectrum. And to top it off, there are nine scene modes. Controlling the light is easy with the buttons on the side. You've got a power button in the center, the up down arrow keys at the top for controlling intensity and the other up down arrow keys at the bottom for changing between settings. In CCT mode, you can easily change between brightnesses by pressing the top button. The light will cycle between 25, 50, 75, and 100%. Or if you prefer, you can hold the top button up or down to change brightness manually. Now to change color temperature, you use the set button down at the bottom to scroll down to Kelvin. From here you can use the arrow keys to cycle through different temperatures from 2600 to 10,000 Kelvin. change modes, you can press the set button at the bottom to toggle from CCT to RGB. From here, all functions work the same. You can scroll through a complete 360 degree spectrum and adjust the saturation to your liking. And of course, you can click the set button at the bottom to access the scene modes. From here, each mode can be controlled using the same methods as the previous sections. You have nine scenes ranging from SOS to Lightning 1, Lightning 2, TV screen, police, ambulance, fire truck, RGB slow, and RGB fast. Build quality of the light is a really solid metal design. It feels super sturdy and definitely inspires confidence. The light is controlled by the buttons on the side. It is worth noting, there's no app for this light. The battery on this light is literally one of the best I've ever used. It's been cold here lately, so I've had to bring in some of the plants off the patio behind me. I've been using the G2 to light them at about 23% for like six to eight hours a day and I literally got about three or four days out of it before I had to recharge it. I mean, that's pretty crazy. And in terms of the light itself, this is one of the more powerful lights on the market. It's not just bright, it's actually really, really bright. The output from this small light is really impressive. Okay, to further drive the point home, I came out here into the field where I usually film, except for now the sun's pretty much gone. You can see like a little bit of light left on the horizon here. Again, this is the light at 75%. And this is the scene with no light at all. You know, I'm just in the shadows. Like this would be unusable otherwise. And this is what it looks like at 100%. You know, and at 100%, I can actually back away a little bit. I don't need to stand like right up on the light. And I still get enough to light me even out here in the field well after sunset. Another thing too, I like how adjustable that metal arm is. It makes it so easy to get just the exact angle that you're looking for. This light has a ton of uses ranging from product photography to light painting to adding a splash of color to your YouTube studio or even nightclub photography or videography. Now, one of the things I use this light for all the time is product photography, especially in the intros to these videos. Pretty much every intro that I film has used this light in some way, shape, or form. And by the way, what I'm filming right here is the intro to next week's Nikon D100 video. I like to use this light two different ways. I start off by using it as a key light, creating a nice highlight on the front of the camera. I'll film a few takes like this to make sure I've got what I'm looking for. Then I like to use it for a static shot where both cameras are still. I'll pass the light over the top to create movement that way. And a lot of times I'll go through a lot of different colors just to see which looks best for the scene. And on this particular day, I ended up going with that red. I don't know what it was, but something about it kind of felt like a bar in the middle of the night and I kind of like that vibe. Oh, 
overall, this is a genuinely impressive light at a really good price. Uh, anyway, I think that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.